Okay, of course you wash the tire real good. You don't want to use hard soap. Any, just a, a good soap. Okay. Uh, I use the actual soap that I use to wash the camper, but I you, uh, do it real mild. You don't want a hard soap on your tires. Now cars that go down the road that you use every day, you know you'll wear out the threads before you before you uh, before they dry rot. But a car that sits, the tires will dry rot. And I have the same problem in my van, so I put four new tires on my van. I have a music van that I use, I play music, and I put about 125 miles a month. So most of the time it's sitting there. And all my gigs are pretty close around here. So I do four or five gigs a, a month. And that's about what I put. And that's the only thing I use that van for. So I protected those tires, the brand new tires. I protected those with this stuff. Okay, here it is. Okay, rubber care. I'll put the link to it. Okay, and it's, like I said, it's approved by uh, Grumman. Okay, and what you do is, like I said, you wash your tire real good, and then you spray it on your tire. Okay, uh, once the tire is dry, you spray it on the tire. Then you take a wet, uh, a wet rag or a, t a cloth, and uh, well, you spray it first. You, you spray the tire when it's dry. You let it sit 10 minutes. Uh, let it sit 10 or 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Then you come back with your wet cloth and you wipe it with your wet cloth, but not real hard. You just kind of wipe it with that. And then you come back and dry it with a dry cloth. Like I said, the, those cloths, you, you don't wipe it real hard. And then you just, you're done with it. You just let it sit. And like I said, it's best to cover it. Now, a car, a, a car that's going down the road, like I said before, you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about dry rot so much. Okay, here, here's my little tool that I bought. And of course, this is my air impact that I use over here while I'm at home. I got a big air compressor. And this little tool right here, it's a DeWalt and it's an electric air pack. Oh, impact. You see, it's, you just plug it right on in, start your generator, plug it in. And it'll tighten the tire up good enough. Plenty of torque. Uh, all the torque you'll need on these tires. Now you don't want to over torque the nuts. Over torquing will stretch the threads. And that's not good. Under torquing, of course, you know, it could, it could get loose. So uh, look in your owner's manual and see what the torque should be. The best way to do it with a torque wrench, okay? Now what I do, what I plan on doing, I'm going to bring this and have the tires put on and make sure they target to the right specs. If not, I'll get it back over here and I'll loosen each one of them up with this air, with this impact. Okay, now this is the air impact and this has a lot of torque. I'll back it off with this and, and then torque it down with the, uh, the torque wrench to make sure that, that the right thing now this will pull them off now if they're extremely tight this might not but this will pull it off if you do it to specs and i bought this this was from northern tool and it is a what number we have on here okay there it is right there dw292 carry this in, it, I'm gonna carry this in the camper if I ever get in a barn again. Okay. I won't have an air compressor, but I'll have a I'll have a way of uh, changing the tire, pulling the tire off. Okay, and I also bought a big lug wrench to fit the tires. I have that on the other side of my tools. So I'm gonna do ahead and I'm gonna spray that undercoating then I can put this thing back together and I can screw my little my little flange on the end of it see if you just pop this off it cracked it but it didn't uh didn't destroy it like I said I wasn't going that fast 
And here's my, here's the piece that popped off. And this is just held on with, with three screws. And of course it goes around this. Goes on right here. Okay. And it was cracked, so I got it gluing overnight with a with a little clamp. And it was cracked. I ain't gonna worry about that. Okay. Now what I did on my van, and that stuff is a mess, that foam is a mess. See it all over the place on my slab, not my little uh, pad. Oh. Uh, but it, it doesn't make any difference what it looks like. That's the wheel well, nobody can see it. But I will put the uh, undercoating on it. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is cover it. I put a cover on the, uh, the little cover, like I said, on the tire. And then I bought these little bricks right here. And that brick will hold the cover from wind blowing the cover off. The cover goes on and it comes down a little ways. And I'll put that brick on there and I'll keep the I'll keep the stuff sprayed with my uh, with my protector with what's this stuff right here I'll put the links on this stuff this is a 32 ounce bottle I did uh, this tar and the wife's big SUV in my van and I sprayed them real good. I'm, uh, about a quarter. Probably about a quarter of the way down. So this thing is going to go to the tire shop. I'm going to have brand new tires put all the way around. I right, said, so check the date on your tire. It, if you can't see it on the one side, it's uh, you, you can hopefully you'll find a tire that has the the. Uh, the stars on the outside, I mean the uh, numbers on the outside. Now see this, this tire has has a DOT on it, but this it's on the other side of the tire. Now this, I'm getting a reflection, that's why you get it, this look like a different color. It has a DOT on it, but it, do, it doesn't have the date. The date would be on the inside. Tires are very important. People have been known to get killed because you, you got a lot of rubber left on the tire, but it's dry rotter. Okay, let me show you what to do. Now this is uh this is the wife's SUV. Okay, and about a week ago I sprayed this stuff on there. On the her tires. Okay. Now if I'm gonna put another coat, now another thing about this stuff, it makes it real uh, easy to clean the tires. Now if I wanna put another coat on, I'll just take my wet cloth and I'll wipe the tire down with the wet cloth, let it dry. Okay, I'm not gonna use soap and water if I don't need to. And then let that dry, come back, spray it, let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes, and come back and wipe it with a wet cloth and then it, softly with a wet cloth and then the dry cloth. So of course, I don't put, uh, this, this car is used every day, so I don't put, uh, this car we use to go shopping and pick up the grandkids. So I don't, uh, that's actually a bigger tire than on my camper. That's a 17 inch tire. So anyway, now here's my music van. Over here. Okay, I put, brand, I put brand new tires all the way around so I don't get a blowout on it. They dry rot from just sitting here. So I, I put these covers on and I have, I've got these little bricks to hold the covers on. This is a little curved, curved brick. Landscaping thing. Okay. Oh, these little covers right here. These covers came from uh, Harbor Freight. They were nine dollars and ninety-five cents for four, and it has like a little hoop in it. A little hoop. This is an old van, 2007, so the rims all messed up. But these are brand new tires. I see, I sprayed them, and I've probably driven maybe 50 miles with it since I since I sprayed this stuff on. So when I'm going down the road, going on a gig, this will protect my 
tower from the sun. When I'm at the house, just slide this little piece over here. The ones I have for the camper, like I said, they come down and they come out this way. This one doesn't. So the wind will blow them off. So I don't want this on the tower, I want it on the rim. So I'll just put that like that. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to protect the tires, it's a good idea to put the spray the stuff on, spray the UV protector, and come back and keep them covered if it's a tire that doesn't that doesn't roll down the road, like a, like a camper. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that uh I'm gonna spray that uh undercoating under there and then I can put my tires back on uh, I'm gonna find out what the torque is I'm not sure what my torque is I'm gonna go look in the owner's manual and I have a torque wrench so I'll torque it down now when I have those tires put on my van the tire shop actually come out with a torque wrench and, and they said we do not put them over tight and he told me, so you, it's the last thing you want to do is put, the, put them over tight, too tight. A lot of tire shops will use a 1,500 pound. They'll put 1,500 pounds. It's way, way too much. Like I said, it'll stretch your threads. So when you, get, when you talk to your guy at the tire shop, make sure he, he talks everything down to spec. And then another thing, if he, he puts it 1,500 pounds, you get down the road and you get a flat, you have a hell of a time. A hell of a time uh, pulling the tire off if you got to do it yourself. Uh, I have a road. I had road service. If you ever use road service, uh, get ready to wait about four or five hours, and then they come out with the wrong equipment and cause me to have a second flight. So I was thinking about putting in a, a claim. Now, I can repair all this myself. I was thinking about putting in a claim, but the other tire that blew. When they're, when they're blown. So I feel they owe me a tire, plus just all this repair. Okay. Uh, it's not mentioning my time, because they don't know what they're doing. I would rather, instead of using road service, after this experience, I would rather not get the, this is all state road service. I would not get the road service. Okay, what I would do is pay out of pocket. And then if you use it a couple of times, okay, if you use it two or three times, they cancel you. You know, and it's several hundred dollars a year. And you, you might come out ahead just calling a, 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 calling somebody local. It took, I was on the phone over an hour with the, with the road service people. And they said, it took them forever. And then I had a foreigner in some foreign country that could barely speak English. And I had a hard time understanding him. And I told him it was the inside back right, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, driver's side tire on a Class C motorhome. And a guy come out in a little cube, one of those little cars, a little cube. Uh, and he had, a, now he had a very strong, uh, torque wrench, I mean, uh, uh, impact. He had a battery operated impact with, and he over torqued my th threads when he put them on. And uh, so he did everything wrong. And he didn't have no way to air up my inside tire. So we didn't know how much air was in it. It was actually 20, later on we found out it was 20 pounds of air in my spare. The spare has been under the camper for eight years and never been uh, on the ground. So it, it lost a little air. So where's it a wash? All right, now let's go ahead and spray this, spray this uh, undercoating under here. We'll put, button it up, put it back together. But be very careful with your tires, very careful. Your family's life is worth more than a thousand dollars or whatever it costs to change all these tires. I think it's like $1,200 to change. Uh, six tires is what it's going to end up costing me. Alright. Let's go ahead and spray the undercoating. 